All right, what's up there, people? Hunter Spoke Riders here. This is just going to be a quick 99 Tahoe update on this front end suspension rebuild. Okay, the mission for today is going to be basically just to remove them shock and to remove the sway bar end link. These are the tools I'm going to end up using to do the job for today. Not much because it's going to be a quick one today. The shocks, it takes an 18 millimeter on the shock, 14 millimeter for the sway bar end link. There's no really rhyme or reason on the style of tools I'm using. This is just what I have available and I grabbed out the toolbox. Okay, there's a bolt on top there. As I said before, it's an 18 millimeter. That's what fits in there the best. And I'm gonna use the combination of these two to get the top bolt out. I'll probably hold it with this and turn it with that, or vice versa, depending on how well it fits in there. Yeah, I'm gonna probably hold it with this one and turn it with that one. Because there was a few things in the way, I ended up using the ratchet to uh, loosen the bolt and using the wrench to hold the nut. Both top and bottom had stuff in the way where I couldn't do it the opposite way. If I tried to use the ratchet on the other side, it just been way too tight and wouldn't be able to get that much turn in it. Because of this thing right here, that was in the way from this going all the way through. So I figured I was better off just using this uh, wrench to hold the nut like so and then use the other one to loosen the bolt. Okay, I had to break out two more things. I had to get the floor jack out so I can put it under the spindle, lift it up just a few little millimeters to get the tension off the suspension to make it easier to get the shock out. The shock did come out. I did have to get a little bitty pry bar for a little bit of persuasion. Shock's out and I put the bolts through the shock so I can uh, keep track of them later. Got the shock out of there. This sway bar end link, I won't be using this one. It will be getting replaced with a new one I already have, mainly because of this split right here. Sway bar end links are pretty cheap, so I might as well replace it, so that's what I did. In order to get this uh, sway bar end link off, the first step to make life easier, a little bit of that. Because there's a lot of stuff in the way, and the end of this is pretty much on top of this uh, upper A-arm, I'm just going to use an open end 14 to hold it from the top, and then use this deep socket 14 and twist it from the bottom. Okay, I got the top nut off, but because this sway bar end link was kind of sitting at an angle inside the bottom of the A-arm, there's a hole at the bottom and you come up like through there. This uh, 14 deep socket was a little bit too much. It was an awkward spot, so I ended up switching to 14 short socket, but using an extension just so we can uh, grip on there a little bit better. This needs to go down. It's not moving down too freely. What I'm gonna do is take this old file, shove that right there, and hammer that down a little bit more, just so it gives it that little couple millimeters to move it down. I just need something to have it hold it flat, cause I can't really get in there to hammer this bolt down. So hopefully between that combination, this will work like that. All right, just what I thought, a few little baby taps of the hammer on that file, and it moved it down far enough to get the top piece of this uh, sway bar end link out. So I'm just gonna do that again and make it go down a little bit more. Okay, that worked out pretty good. I got that down far enough to where it freed it from the, the sway bar itself. Then I can take this last little bushing out here, take this off here, take that off. The bolt itself will just push right through on the bottom of the bottom A arm. And there you have it. No more sway bar end link. It is removed. There is the sway bar end link all removed. These are the tools I used successfully to make it happen. 14 millimeter, I used the open end part of it. 14 millimeter short socket with the extension and the ratchet. Little hammer and an old rusty file with a broken handle. That's what I use to make this happen. I just try to do a little bit every day, try to take small moves forward in between day-to-day -day life activities, and also the fact that it's hot as I don't know what out here. I don't like to be out here too long when it's hot. Even if I do just a little bit, pulling off the shocks, pulling off the sway bar end link ain't really nothing. The job itself should probably take you about 10, 15 minutes. I'd rather do a little bit, take one little small, tiny move forward, then just not do nothing at all, and then it's just gonna sit here. But you know, I'll get there one day, step by step, piece by piece. But well, that's it for today. Hunter Spoke Riders, signing out with the shocks off and the sway bar end link off. Mission accomplished.